I'm really sorry guys, I've done the whole PC rebuild and my SD card has corrupted, so I've I've lost the whole thing. Only joking, guys, I haven't done any of those things yet. The PC hasn't even been dismantled yet. So I've just got the power supply out of the machine and I want you to take note guys, this is an 860 watt power supply. I've got two GTX 1080s overclocked, water cooled. I've got a 6900K overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. You don't need 1000 watt power supplies. 860, more than enough. sludge and rubbish and residue and oxidation inside that water block. Hard bit and the boring bit's over. Now it's time for the fun. We're going to get the new Monsoon EV2 fittings in the system. We're going to get the new 16mm hardline tubing all set up. So I've just discovered that if you connect both of these pumps to a PWM splitter without any power going to it, what's interesting is that one of the pumps has slowed down and the other has sped up. I guess the pumps are effectively regulating themselves. It looks so much better. I'm really glad I've done it. It's been one hell of a journey. But ultimately where we've ended up is we've got some new fittings and some new tubing. I did the soft tubing down in the basement as well as the hard tubing up above. We've had a good, thorough, deep clean of the system. You would have seen in my review of the Mayhem's kit, we're actually running a couple of degrees cooler now. And it's another opportunity to learn, guys, right? As I put in one of my recent vlogs. So I'm feeling good about it. It's looking great. I hope you enjoyed it. It certainly gave me the opportunity to give you guys an overview of how you install a Heartline custom water cooling loop into an SMA8. I hope you're well wherever in the world you are. If you're not already subscribed, please do so by bashing the button down there. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. And I'll see you in my next video.